Hello, welcome. Take a moment and try this problem out. Give it a shot and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so whenever you see the word combine, that means we're using our laws of logarithms to essentially take all of these separate terms here and here in this case and bring them together in any way that we can. So with a three half as a coefficient and a two as a coefficient, that would be my first move to unclog those. What am I talking about? Uh, this law right here says the log of a to the c equals c times the log of a, and my students have helped me see that, that this spells the word clog, right? So there's the word clog. Okay, so when we clog something, we take the exponent and then bring it down in the front. When we unclog something, I'm this is all made up by me, but when we unclog something, we start here and then go to this step where we bring the exponent back up. So let's do that. We have the natural log of x minus y, that's to the 3 halves, minus the natural log of x squared plus y squared, and that's squared. Now, there's another law that says if we have the log of a over b, that equals the log of a minus the log of b. Now, that does not apply to this. That's the log of a minus b, not the log of a minus the log of b. Those are different things. So actually nothing we can do with this or this. So we can, however, apply this reasoning to this whole term right here, and that's going to get us the natural log of a over b. So x minus y to the 3 halves over x squared plus y squared squared. And it depends, you know, how you're actually working this out. It depends on uh, the format, I suppose. But the idea is you could stop here. You could. But maybe there's a way to go further, right? It depends if you want to apply the root sign or not here. In, in this case, uh, let's look at 3 halves. That means you're cubing it and taking the square root. That's what that fraction represents. So you could rewrite this as the natural log of x minus y cubed and then square rooted over x squared plus y squared squared. Or you can think of, since we know that this is commutative, in other words, if I wrote 3 over 2, I could write that as 3 cubing first and then halving, or I could, which is square rooting, or I could square it first and then cube it, that would give me the same thing, right? In other words, this is these these exponents can be split up into their factors and then applied in any order. That's what essentially that's getting sloppy here. Let me fix this. Our laws of exponents tell us. If you remember this law: a to the m n equals a to the m times n, which is a to the n times n. You could switch switch that in either order. So in this case, we have x minus y and it's being raised to the three halves. So you can think of that as x minus y cubed to the half, and then you could reverse it as x minus y to the half cubed. In other words, you can do it in either order. So if you saw it written like this, if you saw x minus y square rooted and then cubed over x squared plus y squared squared, that would be the same thing. All right, hope this helped.